Here we are again with another brand new update. SketchWow 1.6.1 just dropped. And is this the best diagram app? Well, we certainly think so. And hopefully after watching this video, you will share our view and sentiment after you see the amazing features we've just added into yet another free software update. As you can see here, shock, awe, excitement. I'm sure you'll be excited once you see what we squeezed into this little update here. So let's jump in without further ado and show you exactly what is new with this update. Before we do, because Halloween is coming up, a few timely jokes. What kind of a horse do ghosts ride? Of course, a nightmare. What's a pumpkin's favorite genre? Pulp fiction, of course. You can't expect any other, right? Okay, moving along here. So what's new in version 1.1.6? Here is the Cliff Notes version, and of course we'll dive in and show exactly how this works within the software itself. If you missed the last update, we squeezed this one in, didn't create a video, I apologize for that. We added the ability to restore files from a previous save version. Sometimes you wanna go back two or three versions, or sometimes, you know, the lights go out, your computer goes offline, and you lose the work you're working on, which happens, unfortunately. Well, now you can just roll it back, not a big deal, and restore previous versions. Also, we added some enhancements to how we export PDF documents. That's waiting for you in this update as well. For this update, a few big things. Uh, first of all, big mic drop. You probably saw that image on the previous slide. Uh, the drop has been added to Sketch Wow in that now you can use a color picker or eyedropper tool just to really pick any color you see on the canvas. This is great if you have brand colors or company colors or you want to use a certain color a scheme, if you will. Uh, you can just use the handy dandy eyedropper tool and just pick any color without having to worry about what's the hex code or all that weird stuff. And we'll show you how that works in just a minute here. Also, we improved the zoom function. Yes, I'm talking to you, Windows users. This is something we got asked about for two months at least. When, why can't I use my mouse wheel to zoom? Why can't I use my mouse wheel? Every other app lets me use my mouse wheel. So finally, we have decided to get this thing wrapped up. So now you'd be happy to know you can use your mouse scroll wheel or if you're a Mac user, your touchpad or um, any kind of you know laptop a touch a screen to actually you know use the your pointer finger and, and thumb to move and expand the actual canvas. So improved zoom, again, long overdue. And last, but by no means least, is text box word wrap. This is a big deal if you deal with any type of language fonts like Arabic or Hebrew, where they actually scroll from right to left, whereas a lot of fonts we traditionally use, especially uh, English fonts, they scroll from left to right. So now you can easily uh, reformat your text boxes. Uh, this was actually a bit of a challenge, surprisingly. It seems like it's very simple, but there was a whole domino effect of other things that came up and issues we had to resolve by just simply you know, adding the ability to word wrap in a text box. I know, it seems strange, but that's the way sometimes software rolls. And of course, as always, a few fixes and enhancements behind the scenes. Yes, we even squashed out a few little nasty bugs that kind of peeked their way through. As always, once we hear about any issues, our team is pretty quick to get on it and to resolve those. So let me pause this video. We're going to jump into SketchWow and kind of walk through some of these features and show you exactly how they work. Okay, so here we are back on the SketchWow canvas. Let me show you how these features work. So first of all, the color picker eyedropper tool. So suppose I want to change this text color to match maybe the blue here in the background. Go up here on the color selector. Now you'll notice a little color pick eyedropper here and click on that and if I hover over any of the areas here you see how it shows me the exact color that I want to choose. Let's choose this blue here. I kind of like that. And voila, you see how it changed the actual text? And you can repeat this process for changing any of the colors you see here on the canvas. So if you take a screenshot of something, if you like a certain color on a certain site, take a screenshot of that, drop it into SketchWow. Again, your logo, brand colors, all that kind of stuff. It just makes it real easy to get those colors really dialed in without any guesswork involved, right? So very, very handy. Uh, improved zoom, mouse wheel, sadly. I don't have a mouse scroll wheel, so you'll have to take my word for it that if you use the mouse scroll wheel, it does very nicely zoom in and zoom out very smoothly, as you're used to using with many other apps that you might use with your you know, mouse wheel and that sort of thing. Uh, text box word wrap, again, uh, this gave us some challenges. We're happy to see that we finally got it resolved. You'll notice here on the text box, there's two little uh, vertical uh, sort of... Uh, 
pointers here. And if you drag that now, it'll wrap those words based upon the words you type. So if I go and um, you want to add to this and put in my typing is surprisingly well today. It must be all the coffee. Anyway, if I go and um, do this, you can see how now we can easily resize this. And of course, you can still use the controls in the upper corners to make the text smaller and then use WordWrap again if you want to. So a lot of options here. Once again, as I mentioned, uh, this is apparently a very big deal for people using international fonts that scroll from right to left. In particular, we've heard a lot of feedback from people using Arabic fonts and Hebrew fonts. So I hope that uh, you enjoy this feature because I know many of you have been waiting with bated breath for us to finally drop this. So as you can see, this is kind of a mic drop moment. Uh, we did include the eyedropper. We dropped that, dropped in a, a bunch of new features, uh, dropped some bad jokes as usual. So with that being said, I don't want to ramble on for any more. Go ahead and download this new version. And if you're not a member of Sketchbrow yet, please do yourself a favor. Go ahead, sign up. You'll get this update right now. And of course, any future updates that we release because they're all for free. I'm going to sign off. Have a great day and we'll talk to you again in the next video update.